Okay, in this video I want to show you how to remove a software or program or some people would call it a virus. Uh, I call it a Trojan horse that has been implanted in your computer from something that you accidentally downloaded um, by a company that's trying to extort money from you in order to take it off. They're not going to tell you that they're extorting it from you, but that's exactly what they're doing. Um, they're just trying to get your credit card information to charge you to take it off and then they'll have a history of charging you further down the line. Um, so number one, just go ahead and turn your computer off and unplug it. Unplug any internet access to it like an ethernet cord or whatever. Number two, relax. Uh, nothing probably serious has happened. They haven't retrieved your information or anything. Even if you've already gotten given them a credit card or even if you gave them remote access, just stay calm. It's no big deal. It's probably what they do is they install the program on your computer um, through you doing it by accident and then you call their hot num line number and then they basically go in by remote access and remove what they put on there. Uh, number three, if you did give a credit card or a banking uh, checking account number or anything like that, immediately call the bank to that credit card or checking and have them remove anything like this that was charged today or whenever you gave them permission and then have them close that account and create a new account okay number four you're going to be doing a system restore that's the best case scenario and it's not that big of a deal it's not that hard to do I'll walk you through on how to do it whether you have a PC or a Mac or whatever you have I'll show you a minute a real-life sample of someone that I helped out that was prompted to go to fastsupport.com but this will work with any of these kinds of uh, Trojan horses whether that be an FBI warning or your computer is infected, call this number, uh, a whole host of different ones, but they all are basically doing the same thing. They're just basically trying to extort you in order to pay to get the program off. Um, I had one person where it told to contact the police immediately or, or to call this phone number and we could help you because there were things that they found on your computer that meant that you were a criminal. And if you just so happen to have gotten to where you called them up and prompted to call them up, or you gave them the phone number and they called you up with an unidentified number, you'll notice they'll, they'll probably have an accent. It could be from India or Nigeria. They're usually out of the United States. And what they do is they just sit in cubicles all day, a whole room of them, of 20 of them or whatever. And that's all they do is the software is implanted in poker websites, um, triple X websites, you name it. And what will happen is you download something and it'll download that program. Chances are you're accessing this video from another device or another computer because you can't get on your computer because you have pop-ups or just won't let you in. And don't worry, we will take care of that. Um, only thing I ask you to do is if I did help you, please put the phone number, the website, and any written line that they may have put in their ad and what I'll do is I'll copy that and put it in the description of this video that way if someone searches that phone number or that website or that comment this video will pop them pop up and it'll warn them so hopefully we can help stop these people a little bit that's support.com okay I'm saying they were gonna manually go in and clean it up and I kept asking were you gonna charge me for this they said no how did you get the website because it came on it automatically came on my computer that it said it was infected and that if I didn't make the phone call that my computer would be uh, basically rendered useless, which it is. Well, the only, per the, the only people that's rendering it useless are the people who are giving you that message. So what's happened is, is when you search for Adobe or you search for another website, what's happened is it's triggered you to download something that's not from uh, – legitimate website. You always want to go to, you always want to look at the address on the very top in the address bar. And uh -huh. so for example, if it's Adobe, you want to make sure it says adobe.com slash whatever. If it's Microsoft, you want to make sure it's microsoft.com slash, uh, or any website for that matter, banking or anything like that. A lot of times what, yeah, what? I went to Adobe. So you went to fastsupport.com, which is a Trojan horse and is a fake company. And now they're trying to call me. Okay. I wouldn't even answer it. I'm not. Just block it. What what number is it? Can you go ahead and read me the phone number? It's unknown. 
call said they're calling from a block number. Well, that's convenient. Okay. And so you, they had like an Indian accent, maybe? Yep. So when you put Adobe, that's when you got that message. Unfortunately, you installed the wrong Adobe. You always want to make sure to get to the official site that it's adobe.com slash whatever. Okay, so you opened up Windows, and then um, or where are you at now? The icon is coming up, keeps coming up for uh, uh, login menu one two three. I can't get rid of. Go ahead. Go All right. Ahead. So I'm basically, you're you're trying to install a, po uh, a poker program, and then that's yeah. what, and then that's the uh, virus that you got. Well, how did you get to Adobe? The program asked me for the Adobe to download. And how did you find Adobe? You Googled it, or what did you do? Yeah, I Googled it. Okay, so when you Googled Adobe, unfortunately, the wrong thing came up. Force off. What you're going to want to do is do a system restore um, to the day to a day before you got this virus, which of course was yesterday. You know what? I yeah. don't even have my file things or nothing. I got Mozilla, and I got nothing. Yeah, they they wiped out everything. Okay, so from that recording, you see that this guy was having a problem with the same thing. And unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people. And a lot of people think their computers are ruined. People will toss them in the trash. They'll just leave them in the closet for years. And this has been going on for a couple of decades, so this is nothing new. So as you heard, you have to do a system restore in safe mode. And this will help you if you can't get into your operating system or programs aren't opening. Normally, I would tell you to do a system restore while you're in the operating system, but most of these Trojan horses prevent you from doing that. So, part one, I'll show you how to do that in Windows 8 or Windows 10. Second part, I'll show you how to do it in Windows 7 or Vista. Third part in XP. And fourth part for Apple. Alright, so thanks for watching, and please remember to document the phone numbers, the addresses, web addresses, so we can document it on this video. After you get your computer up and running, I would definitely make sure you have an antivirus on your computer that will block Trojan horses like this. AVG, which is the one I personally use, is a good one, a good free software, and Avast is a good free software. And there's no catch, they'll just remind you all the time if you want to upgrade, but you don't need to upgrade. So there's multiple different PCs and then multiple, um, the computers will have different things that you need to access on your keyboard in order to get into safe mode. If you just want to start out immediately and see if you can get into it, um, on the keyboard here I can show you F8 is a lot of times the, is a sure thing on all computers, rather you know for PCs. So you just basically tap F8 when you when you turn it on immediately, and it should access it should access your recovery. If not, I'll go ahead and put right now I'll put quickly a link right now in the video that shows you to do the recovery and of course with recovery that's how you get into safe mode go ahead and turn on the computer now this is an HP computer so for the HP it's actually going to be F11 there we go. F11 for HP. All right, now it's saying please wait. So that's a good sign. Um, Toshiba, so it'll have like a recovery bar down here, where it'll have like a bar say Windows is loading. Uh, they'll all have different things. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose Advanced Options, and of course it gives us. System Restore is what we're going to do. Use a Restore Point recording on your PC to restore Windows. And then what you're going to do here is choose your account. Just click it. And then you're going to enter your password. And right here it's saying Restore System Files and Settings. Click Next. And I got two um, places I can back up from. This one is from a month ago, and this one is from a couple of weeks ago. And so, what you're going to do is find a date, and you might have more restore points. You want to find the date that happens or occurs before you had the issue with your computer. 
So for example, if today or this week you had the issue, and we're October the 1st, let's say, you want to choose to back up to restore point in September, or even if it's a even if it's six months or a year before, if that's the only option you got, you can go ahead and do that. And then what we do is we click next, and and then usually what you do is you just click finish, and it's going to restore it back to that date. And it usually takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. If for whatever reason this does not work, uh, I've been told that people have had it hang like on 50% it won't go any further. Um, you might have to actually do a full factory restore and I showed you that and I could show you this right here um, in the recovery. Okay, now with uh, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, when you turn your computer on, you're going to tap F8, FS and Frank 8 like crazy. That'll get you into uh, this list and then of course you choose safe mode with command prompt and then with command prompt you enter in um, CD and I got the commands right here you, for, you first enter the CD restore and then you hit and then you type in the following letters and then that should immediately take you into system restore and then you're going to do the same thing with Windows XP you're just going to tap F8 multiple times at startup and go to safe mode with command prompt and then if you have a Apple MacBook or iMac you're going to hold down the, the the command key and then tap R as in Ralph multiple times. That'll get you to the time back machine. And then, of course, you'll go back to a time before you got the Trojan horse. Um, if you cannot do that with the Apple MacBook, you might have to just restore your hard drive and reinstall the operating system manually. So you have to purchase a, a hard disk, which you can get pretty cheaply, and just reinstall Maverick or Snow Leopard or whatever you have on there. And of course you will lose all your files and videos by doing so.